make a wooden shoe, at least nowadays. First of all, the wood we use to make the wooden shoes, poplar, Canadian poplar. Grows in Holland, we use it fresh. When it's fresh, there's a lot of water inside and it makes it soft and relatively easy to cut. Let me demonstrate. If you try to cut it, more or less cuts like cheese. <laughs> and in the early days, the entire outside shape of a wooden shoe was made with this big knife and all done by hand. It was hard wood. For the inside, which was even more difficult, several sizes of spoon scoops are needed. And they started with a big one like this to drill a first hole and then work their way in from there. For a wooden shoemaker to make a pair by hand takes at least two to three hours. Nowadays it's all done on machines and it only takes five minutes. And mind you, when I say nowadays, these machines are already 80 years old. <laughs> this is a German machine. All it does is make a copy of the model that we've put in. In this case, the outside shape on this side. The machine will lean on that model, start to rotate, and on the other side, the knives take away the wood. Same way as duplicating a keeper. German machine to copy the outside shape, and a French machine to copy the inside. They're both 80 years old. We will start with the outside shape. Inside shape, another copy of the model being made. Right now, it's a heavy shoe. Half the weight of the wooden shoe is water from the tree because it's fresh. I will show you. 
So you can imagine it needs to be dried, but very slowly. This will take three to four weeks outside by wind only. No sun, no heat. If it dries too quickly, the wood might crash. And then afterwards, they're polished outside and inside on a sandpaper belt. Now, the result will be a light and well-polished wooden shoe to fit the child of about four years old. They look big, and they are big, <laughs> and they offer you a good protection. A good safety shoe. They're warm and they're waterproof, even when they're not painted. Paint is only decoration and helps to clean them more easily. Best way to to wear them, thick woolen socks for comfort and always too big. A finger space extra room behind the heel is necessary. It's a total wooden shoe, they won't stretch. So your foot should be free and a finger space will do the trick. All right, thank you for your attention. Have a look around and have a nice day.